The evacuation of foreign nationals stuck in Gaza continues this morning. The Rafah crossing reopened yesterday after Qatar helped broker a deal, according to Egyptian state media. Dozens of people injured were brought to Egyptian hospitals. Hundreds of foreign nationals also passed through the border. That includes five Americans who worked for aid organizations. The Egyptian foreign ministry says about 7,000 people want to evacuate and, and hold nationalities of more than 60 countries. White House officials estimate at least 400 American citizens are still in Gaza. They say more departures are expected over the next several days, but officials stress the situation, Willie, is still very fluid. And meanwhile, Israeli troops continue to push further into Gaza. Israeli Defense Forces released new video of combat activity inside the territory. Mm. They say they've destroyed dozens of Hamas targets, including anti-tank squads and military outposts. The IDF says it also killed another Hamas commander yesterday after launching a new airstrike on Gaza's largest refugee camp. This is the second time the densely populated neighborhood has been attacked by Israel this week. The United Nations says these strikes could be a war crime. Israeli officials responded in a statement saying, quote, Hamas deliberately builds its terror infrastructure under, around, and within civilian buildings, intentionally endangering Gazan civilians. That all comes as a senior Hamas official has vowed to repeat the attacks of October 7th quote, again and again until Israel is completely destroyed. In an interview with Lebanese television, the official warned Hamas would replicate those horrific attacks, stating, quote, Israel is a country that has no place on our land. So, Congressman, there you have it. For people calling for a ceasefire, this is what the well, Israelis exact, are up against. Yeah, that's exactly right. By the way, where's I, I hear about the U.N. saying a lot about this. Where's the U.N. been in Ukraine? Where have they been in talking about the Russian attacks in Syria? The Russians repeatedly hitting hospitals there. Um, I, I, look, <laughs> I hear people say that Israel's indiscriminately bombing in Gaza. Listen, indiscriminate bombing by Israel would have about 100,000 dead civilians right now. Obviously, we want no dead civilians in Gaza. But Israel is doing everything they can to be precise. It's Hamas who made it clear they would repeat the attacks of October 7th just now. It's Hamas who is not building bomb shelters that are clearly marked. They're building underground networks so they can move men and materials around to create another attack. The refugee camp that was hit. Yeah, I mean, look, it's again, it's do you put stuff in a refugee camp? Do you put military materials? Do you hide your high value targets? It's a terrible situation. But living in a densely populated area does not grant sanctuary to a terrorist organization. Donnie, we don't want to amplify that entire interview with the Hamas spokesperson. But if you watch it, it should, it's not shocking because we know exactly how they feel. But to hear him say it so explicitly that said we will do this again and again and just right. saying out loud, our goal, October let's be clear 7th. here is to destroy Israel. And you guys have been so wonderful this week talking about it and how Israel somehow is graded differently. Yep. That there's no mm -hmm. other country, there's no other people in the world who were attacked, beheaded, raped, right. massacred, mutilated, yet they have to use restraint. And, you know, it, it comes, it attaches to this. I'm holding up the post of somebody ripping off posters of, of the hostages there. And somehow Israel, even in the wake of our Hamas leader saying, we're going right. to come again and again and destroy you, yet Israel always seems to be on trial. Israel well, always seems know, to be defending themselves the double, for defending the, themselves. The double standard applies college campuses so much. You're a Jew at Harvard. You can't even walk across <laughs> your own campus without being surrounded and attacked. You, 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 you have, you have University students at Penn that you've, you've, you've shown I can't even celebrating the raping of women, the slaughtering of babies, the burning of, you know, if, if that had happened and people were celebrating violence, think of it, I, I want everybody at home to think about this. Any group on college campuses that, by the way, administrators have bubble wrapped everybody mm -hmm. over the past 10 years with speech codes and safe spaces. Where are the safe spaces for the Jews? You know what? Jews don't have space, no. safe spaces and they're not asking for them. But, but they should be able to walk across a campus 
without being assaulted by fellow students. And I'm just, any other students that attacked students the way Jews are being attacked, they would be expelled in a second. Somehow. Expelled in a second. In a second. Somehow. It's okay to go after Jews. It's okay. It's somehow it's like through history, it's it yeah. just cheering. Uh, there, people are cheering, and Jews are being slaughtered. And it is the level, you guys have covered this all week, the level of anti-Semitism, the level of hate towards Jews from the beginning of time to today. It, it's mine. I mean, if this, to Joe, to your point, if this happened to any other group, we showed a video we were talking just now of no, I can't a, a even woman, I, I don't know if you're going to play it, a woman cheering. It was our, uh, uh, in Philly last night, our greatest moment. A student. A yeah. student. So our greatest much. moment. If this was any other group, there would be outrage. By and the yet way, the media, other than this place and Nicole Show and a few other places, is silent. Doesn't freaking cover it. And she says... She felt empowered. I by know what that when you saw, basically when you saw <laughs> women being raped... So they were bleeding uh, in their pants uh, when you saw babies beheaded. All these things. When you saw these images, I, she said, I know you felt empowered. Now, if oh that were said, let us go it's back. Student had you let us go back to Charlottesville. Right. I guarantee you, if the administration right. and that mob saw any students, Sure, they would have been expelled in a second. Or at UVA. And yet it is at real. UVA. They would have been expelled in a second. People who worked, Caddy, people who worked, who were seen in that crowd, fired. But here, you have people openly saying they felt empowered mm. by the raping of Jewish women. They feel empowered by the images of children being shot in front of their parents and parents being shot in front of their children. The videos are out there they have exposed themselves and yet if you do unto them what universities would do unto any other group oh then it's it's a violation of the first amendment